Hi, this is Darren with Shenard's Nursery. I wanted to share today eight great native plants for dry shade environments. Ocean Spray, while discus discolor, is a very large shrub that can fill up a ton of space between ground level and high branches. Loves dry shade, has creamy white flowers in the summer that are very attractive to pollinators, but a very big shrub can reach 12 feet or more. Post Silk Tassel, Garia elliptica, is an unusual native. It retains its leaf. It's a broad leaf evergreen, so it has leaves year round. It's another relatively large shrub. It can reach as big as 8 or maybe 10 feet tall. The flowers are subtle, long chains, and they're born in the winter. Western sword fern is everywhere under the canopy of trees in western Oregon. It is an evergreen fern reaching 4 feet by 4 feet in size and uh, very well adapted to moist or dry conditions in good shape. Salal is widely spread throughout the coast range and into the valley. It's a, a lot of rather aggressive large ground cover. It can reach several feet tall under good conditions, but sometimes stays lower, especially if you've got a little more light on it. It spreads well where there's moisture, but does need a little bit of irrigation to look its best. There are several Oregon grape varieties that are native in Western Oregon. The tall Oregon grape is not super well adapted to shadier locations. The two lower forms do very well. Longleaf Mahonia, Mahonia nervosa, spreads widely underground uh, in moisture locations. This little guy is Mahonia reference, the smaller yet Mahonia, a slower spreader but preferring drier shade. Goat's beard, Aruncus dioicus, is an herbaceous perennial, so it dies all the way back to the ground. It has upright spires of creamy white flowers, well visited by, by pollinators, on a plant that reaches maybe three or four feet tall. Fringe cups provide a profusion of geranium-like or corobell-like foliage uh, that spreads slowly to cover a, a substantial amount of space. The flowers are intricate when seen up close, though not showy from a distance, and perfect for the fairy garden. Wood sorrel makes a great ground cover for extensive coverage of, of shady areas. It does best, it looks best with some irrigation, but it survives drought very well. Though these are all nice native plants and well adapted to our area, they'll be happier if you take a little care to establish them. Do a good job of soil amending to improve your native soil so they have a chance to get a good start. Though they are drought tolerant, they will all perform better if they get a little bit of irrigation at least that first year or two to become well established. Established plants are much more forgiving.